to my channel and welcome to vlogtober episode i really don't know so if you're wondering why i look like steve jobs it's because i'm gonna be getting ready for my beetlejuice inspired photo shoot i'm gonna be installing the way that i colored on vlogtober episode one so if you want to go check that out go ahead and look at that so of course i'm gonna start by installing the wig first so i'm gonna be doing the ball cap method y'all it's been it's been so long since i have installed a wig on camera it's crazy So let me explain to y'all the theme of this photo shoot. So because I was talking entirely too much on this part, I'm just going to make it short and sweet and simple for y'all. So I was trying to go for like a cute, sexy girl boss kind of Beetlejuice. It didn't have to be like a girl boss, but um, I was trying to be like the sexy version, really just like I, I didn't want to. I didn't want it to look like a costume really I wanted to look like an outfit but you can kind of tell like what I was going for so of course after I put my ball cap down the next thing is to put the pigment on the cap so I'm using this kiss lace tint um, I think it's in the shade brown or like light brown or something like that so here is the star of our show y'all I'm just so proud so 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 proud of this wig before i made and colored this wig i hadn't touched a wig in like months i'm trying to get myself together like i just graduated from college so back to my photo shoot theme i know i'm all over the place but who cares this is really who i am be like a sexy like grown woman girl boss beetlejuice so for my adhesive i'm using this eben wonder lace uh, spray adhesive. I don't use glue anymore and I think that me not using glue has really like stepped up my lace game. Stepped up the game for me and it'll step up the game for you too. <laughs> y'all I'm just talking. I ain't even got nothing to talk about for real. And like y'all see that lace? Like the, la the lace starts right here. BTW. So if you've seen me apply install enough wigs then you already know the drill um i spray the adhesive on my forehead i put the blow dryer on it for like i don't know like 10 seconds 20 seconds and then i wait until it gets tacky and then i put the lace on there and then i just kind of press it into my skin easy peasy lemon squeezy so now I'm starting my makeup, so I thought that I would bring y'all a little bit closer to me. So for my makeup look today, I thought that I would go just a tad bit dramatic. I don't do makeup that often, but when I do, I do the same two makeup looks. For graduation, I did the 2016 Smokey Eye. That was when I stopped doing makeup. I stopped doing makeup in 2017, and then I started getting into wigs, obviously. So like my makeup style is kind of frozen in time. I still love my dark brows. That is my staple. For my eyebrows, I'm using this e.l.f. Espresso Liner. I started doing my hair at around 3.30, I think. So I'm making good time. The sun starts to set, I think at six, around six o'clock. So that'll give me a solid hour to do my makeup and get my stuff together. I tried this the first time. Oh my God, y'all. It was a shit show. I was rushing. I was running around. I was looking out the window. I was like, oh my God, the sun's about to set. And then I was going outside and then I had a freaking, a crumb of sunlight. I was a picture in the thumbnail of my video coloring this week and it's cute like the pictures are cute but i may have set the bar entirely too high for myself want to make them better so that's why i'm starting just a wee bit earlier get off work at like 3 30 so i thought that i was going to be able to come home and install a wig and do my makeup before six o'clock which it, it was a no-no. So to carve out my brows, I'm using my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coconut. It feels so weird, like, talking about what I'm, what kind of makeup I'm using in a video. I do not do makeup like that anymore. But when I do, I eat the girls up.
I'm preparing my base for my shadows. I really don't use any like eyeshadow primers or anything. Um, I like to have like an even base because my eyelids are veiny. Like you can see like the blue veins in my eyelids. So um, putting the foundation on my eyelids just kind of cancels all that out. This is really, 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 really old. I need to get rid of it. It is the Too Faced uh, Naked Eye palette this is probably damn near like obsolete the only thing i really use in it is the black because the black is just so pigmented like look at it it's just so pigmented and i'm gonna use it until it runs out i'm just gonna take this black and kind of uh pack it on my lid so it can be very 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 pigmented I feel like this look is also kind of obsolete but like it still hits every time every time i do this look like i still get compliments on it there's no rule that says that i need to stop wearing it Funny how I get a cover girl ad while watching America's Next Top Model. Quick little shadow moment. I wasn't trying to do too much. So um, I'm just doing my foundation. So this foundation is the same foundation that I use to, um, to create my base. So the powder that I use to set my eyelids is gonna be the same powder that I'm gonna use to set my face. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 330, which is toffee. You can't forget to set your neck. Even though I'm gonna have on a turtleneck, you can still kind of see my neck. So I want all that to be the same color. If you can't tell, like I got another nose piercing. If you are OG, you know that I've had this nose piercing forever but i was just really enjoying the like double nose piercing trend i think it's cute so i was like i already have one so i might as well just get another one you know i'm gonna go line my waterline off camera because i can't do it so i'll be back so my waterline is lined and my hot comb is plugged up. My lace, oh, let me put some foundation right here. <laughs> and my lace is a snatched, okay? So I used a wand curler with this. So I'm gonna style the front of this wig. I'm gonna get my clothes on and then I'm going to uh, get outside because I need every bit of sunlight possible. In the editing process, I'm still gonna change the mood of my picture. If you haven't seen any of the, um, any people's like Halloween themed pictures, there's some kind of like vignette on it. Like the, the vibe is not like really bright um, if you see the pictures on my Instagram feed. So this is gonna be new. So in, in order for me to achieve that, I have to go outside when the sun is just starting to go down, which I just looked outside right now and the shadows are already getting long. So um, I'm trying to go as fast as I can without rushing. So y'all go check out Kim's dollhouse because this is her hair. It took the color like a dream. And you can see that like the color And like the whole thing is just gorgeous. So go check out her hair. And like her lace, like this is, this looks like it's coming out my scalp. So I already know. You gotta get the little volume piece in the front. I would argue that this looks so much better than it did last time because I was so freaking rushed. 
I was trying to go outside and rush, which you cannot rush greatness clearly. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All my social media will be down in the description box as well as videos that I have uploaded in the past. Also check out Vlogtober episode one where I make and I color this wig. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in my next video.